Milwaukee for the first time. Just want to know, when you first see the game on the schedule, is it something that you circle? I know it's another game, but is it something that you kind of do look at when you first get that schedule out? Uh, I mean, yeah, this year, for sure. It's my first time going back. I'm excited as hell. Um, I get to see all those guys, all the people I used to work with, um, you know, friends in, in the city. So I'm super excited. I was reading that your dad was a big Bucks fan. What, what was that time like for him, obviously, too? It was fun. He'll actually be there on Tuesday. So he's flying He's flying in uh, to the game. And, um, I mean, his his team was a Bucks growing up. And, you know, it was, it was cool for him to watch his kid play for the Bucks. And now um, doing it as a visitor, it's going to be fun for him to watch. Some I know you said that you're really excited for this game, but some guys, it's it's like an extra chip on their shoulder playing a former team. Other guys, they don't really think too much of it. Where do you just stand on that? Is this like an extra motivation? I was like that last year um, when they came to Sacramento. Um, I'm super locked in. Uh, had a chip on my shoulder. Wanted to prove a point. Um, this year, it's, it's you know time has passed. I'm in a whole different city. I'm a whole different organization, and my focus is here. I'm excited to go play there for the first time, but my focus isn't going to go away from what we're doing as a team and what my role is and my mindset for this team because um, I have bigger goals than just winning, trying to win one game in the season. Dante, one of the reasons why you came here is because you saw this was a place where you had a chance to win, obviously. And you guys have lost a lot of close games, but is that an indication that you think things are close? I mean, just what's your read on where this team is headed in the next few weeks or so uh, based on what you've seen so far? Um, I always got to remember these guys played in the finals. You know, it's a long, it's a long season, um, and I was off since April. Um, so, you know, guys are one. It sounds crazy, getting their legs still, rhythm still. Um, but you know, it's time to take that next step as a team. Um, I think you know Draymond talked about it today. Practice is just being able to lock in, take that next step, and you know, rack up some of these wins together um, in a streak. Um, because the way the West is, we're not, we're not out of it. We're not far out of it at all. I think it's like four games out of first place or something like that. So um, we just got to take that next step as a team, lock in, um, get a couple in a row, and then the standings are going to look completely different. Is there a sense that some of the reasons why you guys have lost these games, that most of, most of what has gone wrong is correctable and things that you guys can do within your own power? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you look at some of the games um, – their learning experiences. Um, you look at the game at New Orleans on the back-to-back. -back, um, a lot of young guys. It's a learning experience. Even Utah, learning experience. You don't have Steph and Jerry. Um, so you look at some of those things. If if we can correct those things without those two on the court, then when they when they come back on the court, um, everything's more controlled. Everything's you know in their hands, and we're correcting the things that certain people, certain players on the team, that not necessarily get to do when they're on the court. Um, so now when you have that experience, you be able to learn from the mistakes. Then when they get added back on the court, everything's locked in together. Anything else? Best cheese curds in Milwaukee? Cheese? I've never had them. How long? You were there? What? <laughs> Four years. I never had them. <laughs> Damn. <laughs>